I think that the uh, issue of the lane closings in Fort Lee were done for political purpose, that there was no traffic study, that uh, this committee was uh, lied to um, two weeks ago by the, by the uh, deputy director. We've heard testimony from a traffic expert who said, if you wanted to do a traffic study, this is not how you do it. And if you do a traffic study, you should notify people. So it only leads me to the conclusion that this was an after-action decision, that this happened for whatever reasons we're not really clear on, but everybody got around the table and said, well, let's figure out what we can tell the public now that it's happened as to why we're doing it. It's very suspicious on how this has all turned out. I was instructed not to speak to Fort Lee. Why? Mr. Wildstein told me, do not speak to anyone in Fort Lee. Did you ask if the police chief was notified? I informed my police captain of, of the operation. I was told not to speak to anyone in Fort Lee by Mr. Wildstein. When something like this is to happen, um, a study of this kind, would the protocol be for Mr. Wildstein to contact you and work through your office as opposed to just advising you? This was an unusual request. So, so there wasn't the protocol? It, it wasn't typical at all. In the context of a direct order given to the general manager of the bridge, that was different. Uh, is that unprecedented? I've never <laughs> participated in a process like that before. Uh, so I want to understand this. So a man with whom you have very little interaction comes to you and says, this bridge that you're in charge of, change these lanes. And you said, yes, sir? Mr. Chairman, it is a, a well-known fact that Mr. Wildstein is one of the ranking New Jersey officials in the Port Authority. I followed my chain of command after being given a directive by the second person in New Jersey in charge of my agency. Did you for a moment think that his direction was wrong? It was odd. Did you think it was wrong, yes or no? Yes. I am not schooled in the culture of the Port Authority, so you'll forgive this question. Uh, did this seem wrong? The question, yes, okay. it did. So this traffic, so-called traffic study, you said that they were gathering data. Has there been uh, a traffic study presented anywhere as a result of that closure that week? I have not seen anything, no. So uh, there has, has anything been done with the data that would substantiate the premise that there was a traffic study going on? Uh, other than a verbal, uh, with regard to the slight improvement to mainline traffic flow, I have seen no report. So it really calls into question whether there was, in fact, any traffic study done when they were just gathering data. One could reach that conclusion. Because a traffic study would mean that all of that data would have been sent out for additional further study to speak to this issue of whether these lanes sh should exist or not. Studies should result in a conclusion, yes. Let me be clear. The decision to restrict local access to the George Washington Bridge during the morning rush bypassed normal operating procedures without proper transparency and openness, and it directly violated our agency's primary responsibility to re protect our customers and personnel. So you, you accepted that the, their, uh, their statement, their, their, converse, their, their uh, rationale that they put people at risk and spent money um, and created cr tremendous upheaval solely for the purpose of a traffic study? Uh, I, I don't. You don't. Why do you think they did it? Uh, I'm not aware of any traffic study. I don't know why it was done. Have we forgotten that Mr. Baroni came in with a poster-sized graphic depicting this plan for fairness for the for the people who community who crossed the George Washington Bridge and and the Fort Lee, uh, the Fort Lee residents had this, uh, I guess, access that was uh, not allowing others uh, free traffic flow, and that there was a traffic study conducted for that purpose. Now we hear there's no traffic study at all. Have we forgotten that? 
that Mr. Uh, Baroni is the boss of Mr. Wildstein. His boss came here with a graphic saying there was a traffic study. There isn't one. So a question, if I may. You just stated, sir, the 26, 27 percent of toll lanes are accounted for from the Fort Lee access. There are 12 lanes, three of them are Fort Lee, that's 25 percent. Come back to me again, please let me understand. We did a survey that no one can understand or has any material of. We saw charts the other day presented by Mr. Baroni that it best seem fantasy-like, for lack of any other term, and now we're learning that indeed three lanes is totally proportionate to the amount of traffic from the Fort Lee area that feeds into the bridge? Is that uh, correct? I, I believe that to be, uh, that rough math is correct, yes, sir. It would be fascinating to know what the economic implications were to the region for a test that in <coughs> fact did not exist for a purpose of which no one can attribute for reasons no one can state. Considering what we've heard and all of the testimony tonight, I'm asking the governor to come clean about why this study was done or why his people did it. Somebody should be able to answer that question. Talking about an agency that's bigger than 26 U.S. states, we're talking about an agency that if you use their facilities on the George Washington Bridge and you work in Manhattan and you earn about 100000 a year, you're paying more to the Port Authority in tolls than you are to the state of New Jersey in taxes. That is alarming that an agency that large with that much financial reach uh, could be that rudderless in a situation as important to this. Uh, we need to have better answers. We need to have truthful answers. I'm not convinced that uh, we've received truthful answers to all the questions we've asked over the course of our deliberations. We will continue to press those questions until we get truthful answers.